Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm bringing you a quick review video on the things that I like and the things that I don't like with the Swapper by Eris. The Swapper is an active chair that sells for around $600 and features a spring technology that is designed to keep you moving while you work. The first thing that I really like about the Swapper is that this unit is German made and features very high quality components. From the base, all the way up through the cylinder, to the spring, to the seat cushion and the fabric, all of the components are high end so you know that you're getting a top quality product. This unit is also backed by an industry leading five year warranty from the manufacturer for all US customers. If anything goes wrong with the chair, for five years, you can get the chair replaced and back to new condition so that you always have a working standing chair. The next thing that I really like about the Swapper is its wide range of motion and its 3D spring technology. The 3D spring technology is something that's only available on Aeris products and it allows you to bounce up and down, move side to side, front to back, and then any direction in between. You can move in a full circle if you'd like. Another good thing about this technology is that it has two tension adjustments. One for the bouncing, so you can make it bounce more or less, and then one for the tilting, so you can make it less or more tension side to side or front to back. This is great for people that would like to have a wide range of motion and great for those that would like a small range of motion. The last thing that I like about the Swapper is its large padded seat when compared to other chairs in the standing desk category. Most standing desk chairs have small, contoured, very specific seat shapes that have little to no padding. So the Swapper stands out among that crowd. Along with the upsides of the Swapper come some downsides. The first issue may be the seat height range. At 27 and a half inches, the Swapper doesn't adjust as high as other standing chairs in the category. So it will allow for some perch positions, but leaning is not gonna be a possibility. If you'd like a larger range, you might need to go with the Swapper High, which will get you up to 31 inches. The next potential problem is gonna be the seat design. I know that I highlighted the seat as something that I like, and that is because it is larger and more padded than most of the seats in the standing desk category. But it's not gonna be as large or as padded as a normal office chair or a standard ergonomic chair. So if you're expecting a seat like the normal style chair that you've been used to, the Swapper may not be the best choice for you. The next downside with the Swapper is that you do not have any mobility with the chair while you're sitting. When you sit down, the base stays in place because it does not have casters to roll around. I found this to be an issue mainly when I was trying to find the optimal typing position to get comfortable in front of my keyboard because in order to move this chair, I need to pick it up and then move it instead of just being able to roll. These small movements can become tedious because you need to move it, test it, move it, test it. If you'd like more mobility with the Swapper, I would suggest looking into the caster option. The next issue that I'm not a fan of with the Swapper is that I do not think that this is going to be the best solution for prolonged hours of sitting. And that is for a few reasons. The first is that the seat is not designed like a typical ergonomic office chair and may not be suited for long hours. You are also lacking armrests, a backrest, and proper lumbar support, so it can be difficult to maintain the proper ergonomic posture over an extended period of time. The final thing to be aware of when purchasing any standing chair is that there's going to be an adjustment period while your body gets used to the new style of sitting. There will be pressure placed on your feet, ankles, shins, thighs, that's normally not there with a typical office chair, so you need to accommodate for that time while you're getting used to your new chair. If you're not looking to experience any fatigue, soreness, or pain, then a standing chair like the Swapper may not be the best option for you. I hope this video has been helpful in highlighting the potential upsides and downsides with the Swapper so that you're more informed when making your buying decision. If you'd like more information on the Swapper, visit us at btod.com for the full in-depth review. Thanks a lot for watching.